Which Carrie is Banks has a serious weakness. And I think there's, we still have um, ice cream. I could eat half a pack of Oreos and milk and consider it nothing. And saying no to the cravings? Forget about it. If I wanted the food and it was available, I would eat it. Pretty much without thinking. Okay, so then the chips, the... french fries. Obesity researchers believe Carrie's sweet tooth could actually be more like substance abuse. Dr. Joe McLaren at Duke University studies the brains of smokers or drug addicts, and his studies show that for many obese people, junk food can trigger the same response. You can see activation in both cases in a region called the striatum. It's the part of your brain that tells you whether something is something you want to go after or if it's something that you want to avoid. But it's also the part of the brain that's involved in learning habits. In a new study, scientists at the Scripps Research Institute found similar results in rats. Pleasure centers in the brains of those fed high-fat, high-calorie food became less responsive over time, a signal that the rats were becoming addicted. Once hooked, not even an electric shock could stop them from a junk food fix. Your brain reacts almost identically to a cocaine addict looking at cocaine. And the interesting thing is that someone who's obese has even more similarity to the cocaine addict. So somebody who is obese is literally addicted to junk food. In, in many ways, they can be addicted to junk food.